What's up, YouTube? Happy New Year to all of my subscribers that came with me from 2022 up to 2023. Of course, I had to get on here and make a video. Um, I hope y'all was having a good new year, um, a blessed new year. I was having a peaceful, silent, in the bed new year. Um, when 12 o'clock came in, I was in the bed where I wanted to be. Peace started in 2023. Um, but yes, um, for anybody you know that has been with me from 2022, which is when the channel was started going into 2023, I appreciate you. Um, again, you know, the subscribers that I do have, like, I really don't be caring about the numbers. I just care that people hit the subscribe button to whatever it is that I'm talking about. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to get into all of that, y'all. You know, the mushy stuff. But of course, like a broken record, out of all the channels that you'll subscribe to, I can promise you right now, I will love and appreciate you the most. So with that being said, hit that like and subscribe button. Y'all quickly, again, there really wasn't a lot to talk about on here. So like today's gonna be, you know, I don't care, but let's share. Um, more so because I've been, this relationship has been in the media for a while now, and I really haven't cared to talk about it. Um, because it's just so many different things. Um, don't know, don't care, living on a rock. I am talking about Young Miami and P. Diddy. So speaking of New Year, it looked like they had a really, really good New Year. I'm not sure where they were. Definitely weren't in California because where they were, the skies were clear. However, it looked super fun. Um, getting it out the way, she looked bomb. Um, she had on a few different looks, but the one that stood out to me was the green ensemble, which is going to be in my thumbnail. But yeah, she looked bomb. Like she, she looked bomb. Of course, they were trending because Miami put out a few pics um, of her and Diddy. She was quoting, you know, Beyonce. Um, I don't care if we on the run, baby, long as I'm next to you. Um, she also posted a picture of them, you know, during New Year's. On another note, Angela Simmons and um, what's that dude name? Yo Gotti. They look cute. I'm coming around to the relationship. Um, yeah. Let's wait for something juicy coming to the topic and then I'll kind of get my pin on that. But, you know, I'm coming around. Anyways. But, yeah. Um, you know, so she posted a few pics on her Instagram story. So, if you don't know what pics I'm talking about, head over to Instagram and check out the pics that she posted for New Year's with her and Diddy. Yeah, she... <laughs> Hi, everybody is pretty much saying the same thing. It's a few things that I want to come over here, you know, just kind of quickly, quickly give my opinion on this young Miami situation. Um, I think that it's funny. I think that, you know, a lot of people, you know, they take it kind of serious. You know, one minute they're good, next minute, you know, blah, blah, blah. And for me, I, I would not get too invested into it only because you just, you really, no one can solidly say what's going on with them you know outside of people who they probably tell and you tell people what you want but only between them you know what i mean like so if it's a deep deep down rooted you know acting you know thing to kind of stay in the media only them two gonna know so this is just literally an opinion coming from me real quickly i think that young miami is a very popping person so a part of me you know, it's like 20, 20, 20% 20 that Liggy's up to 100 with me on this situation. So the first 20 is going to be, she's very popular, you know, right now. She managed to keep a group together, even though one person was in jail. So she's definitely very popular. She kind of stepped over into celebrity really well, in my opinion. However, I do not think that she is, just based on what I constantly see him with, I don't think that she's his type. Her personality may be his type. Her loyalty might be his type. Um, her soul might be his type. So that's not what I'm saying. But physically, just based on what he continues to show us and all the women that keep going back to back, you know, he's kind of in the Asian world right now. Totally fine. Or Blasian, whatever. He, uh, tw other 20%. I feel like it's a possibility that he in a way is kind of you know blue face Chrissy and rock her never mind that's the wrong type of person to be given some oh I know who they are but and definitely not you know what 
that was that was that was stupid on my part i'm gonna say that but anyways my point was she is super popular with the young kids you know diddy's is you know 90s 2000s you know miami is 2020s you know so he in a way you know is very very much in the media because of her let's just be real diddy is super mega rich please don't confuse me saying that he is broke not the case however rich and popularity two different words they're in two different lanes um, you have a lot of rich people who are not popular. You have a lot of broke people who are popular. So, can't compare the two. Um, but he has been in the media a lot thanks to her. Um, and you know, thanks to her kind of being playing that stupid role. Um, and again, I think that Young Miami is, is a very smart person, even though sometimes, of course, the role is to come off, you know, kind of like the dumb, you know, get money, you know. She's super smart. If you know her background, you can't help but like her. You know, her mom went to jail. She kind of stepped up while having a small child, raising her brother. So it's like, you have to respect her. She definitely knows how to move in the world and they were surviving, you know what I mean? Um, but but yes, like I said, Diddy's been in the media a lot, a lot, thanks to her. I think another 20%, if you look at the relationship between Diddy and Cassie, now yes, it fumbled it crashed but for a very long time Cassie was in the spotlight but again Diddy's juice was a little bit different in the 2000s hence why Cassie was able to be in the spotlight for a very long time even though there was nothing really going on for her you know celebrity wise besides the things that Diddy was booking her for which was mostly things for his company you know she was the spokesperson or the model the face of Ciroc she was you know she was doing um, his clothing line like she was doing a lot of things but again Diddy's juice of popularity was different in the 90s 2000s don't get me wrong he's still rich still popular but it's a different type of you know these new kids i swear you be asking them about artists from the 90s they don't know they don't know so i mean whether you want to agree or disagree you know some of our faves are not the new faves even though we still see them in the public we see see, see everything that they're doing these young ones they don't know I have nieces, nephews, my employees, they are younger. So I hear them. Sometimes I'll be like, yeah, y'all remember Lil' Kim? And they'll be like, no, who's Lil' Kim? I'll be like, I'll be wanting to slap them sometimes with some of the stuff that I'd be asking them. And I'll be like, that's obvious. Like, she's still in the, you know, they're still, like, whatever. Um, another 20%. Am I at 100%? If not, then it's either going to be 20% or 40% to make it 100%. Um... I think that a lot of it is the media, some people in the media, um, her friends, like you ever notice, like as soon as Diddy had the baby, she came out with her quotes. She was up and down, replying to everything, going back with DJ Academic, blah, blah, blah. And then she'll be back in love, you know? So that's why I never really invested speaking on it because it was just kind of like, oh, okay, yeah, that's cool. But, I think that you know she is I think that she cares about him I think that long term is gonna be you know she would want something long term but I don't see no long term for no shoddy wop shoddy wop it's my shoddy wop oh I'm his shoddy wop now nah, then my little shoddy wop I mean yeah okay that yeah, cool but yes um whatever also y'all i thought that it was so sad um andy cohen and um i cannot think of his name um but you know the news host you know every year they they've been doing like the new year hosting um and anderson cooper so andy cohen and anderson cooper they do the new years and you know they begin drunk but i thought that it was i thought that it was really sad that nick cannon and his baby mothers it it's really overshadowing his career and his legacy and 
that right there was just like you can tell you know he wanted to remain classy um nick you know he definitely is a class act when it comes to things like that he he definitely has a sense of humor but for me watching that it was so sad you know just like dang this is not nick cannon when i was introduced to nick cannon um and this whole thing is just overshadowing his entire career it's definitely going to overshadow his legacy and i just, i thought that it was sad um yeah anyways again happy new year y'all i'm gonna catch y'all on the next juicy video if you happen to come across this video and you're not subscribed please hit that subscribe button it's a small channel so you're going to be greatly appreciated peace